You know, in a loot, an extension graph, there are points at which the differences may occur. See, initially you have this. Uh, if you take a normal copper wire or something, you have the proportional limit, you have the elastic limit, right? Then you have maximum stress. Uh, and the other regions like yield point, like plastic limit, and afterward breaking tension, like what's the breaking point and all. So there are points, right? There are points. So these points will be there, and these points will depend on the four acting on it. If we if we're talking about the same cross-section area, the points will differ. Uh, actually, the points will differ with the stress. So each of these points has a certain stress value. Say, for the proportional limit, there's a certain stress value. So that if you give that stress, it will come to the proportional limit. So I was saying that uh, every point, every uh, significant point in this means this uh, elastic limit, proportional limit, yield point, breaking stress. So all of those points have a certain stress value. So it will come to elastic limit at a certain stress. It will come to plastic region at a certain stress. It will come to breaking tension at a certain stress, right? So it depends on stress. And with stress, there comes the strain. So we can say also in terms of strain. So it, be, it is on stress and strain, right? So this is the dotted lines in the following graphs represent the extension L versus load W curve of a light spring hung from a zero. When the load is hung, now uh, because this is this refers to uh, elasticity. in properties of matter right so anyone who has not done it please note that it's it comes from elastic in properties of matter so uh when the load is hung from two of such springs as shown in the figure which graph represents the corresponding extension versus load curve so when you have two springs The strength is more, we can simply say. So to get a certain extension, to get a certain extension, we can put more load into that. So in the dotted line graph, say there is a point where it gets curved. I'm going to mark the points at which they get curved. This point, this point, this point, this point, this point. This is the point at which they get curved. So, say that this is the proportional limit. So, proportional limit has a certain force. Certain force. The load is the force, actually. It's not the stress, but the force. Now, you have two springs, means two, two of A, two cross section areas, two ways. So, if you want to get the same stress you have to give two f now because you have two areas because you have two springs so you can put the load two times to come to that point so if the dot here is w the load on the other side when there are two springs should be two w so this is the only one which shows that when you have two springs to come to that same that significant point it takes two times the weight none of the other graphs show that this one it doesn't even come to that extension this one comes with a lower force this one comes with a lower force this one comes with a high, higher force but the thing is the point has gone up that's wrong so answer a uh, answer one is the best answer which represents the same